the storyscape.io and we're going to look at our stories. Anne and the Bad Witch. Anne and the Bad Witch? Yeah, Ben. Anne and the Bad Witch. I should have found the bad witch. I should have found the bad Words to know. I should have found it. Words from the. Yeah, I so those are words it. that. Um, that is a, um, a really a word you have to know. Let me out here. This is Anne. She lives in a damp land. Anne helps plants grow tall. She helps plants grow fast. This is the bad witch. She has <laughs> a plan. The bad witch wants the land. So what what sound do you think the story focuses in on? Eh, eh. Eh, the short eh. A sound. And you said you wanted to make a story, right, Ben? You want to make a story with um, us today? I want to yeah. do it as an eh. Well, eh. remember what you said you wanted to take place where? In the Forest. Forest. Or, or. Yeah, that has that has a strange vowel sound, huh? Or s. Yeah. Because there's there's yeah, two it's... vowels, but I'm um, not next to each other. Well, look at this word. K What's this word here? K and do you know what this word is? Um, crav. Carve. Carve. Yeah. So this r, when you add that r, it changes that word. That's called the an, r. That's called an r, r. controlled vowel. It changes, so vowels sometimes act, act yeah. you know, when they hang out with an R, they think they're all cool. They act a little different. So we can come up with some, let's think of all the words. Ben, you want to help us? Yeah. All the words we can think of that have an or sound. Or? Yep. Uh, yeah. Mm, um, store. Store. Yeah. No, or, like your sore. Sore when you're, when okay. you're feeling better. Store, sore. Um. Snore. Snore. Anything else? What do we have? Um. Fort. Anything else? Yes. Short and fort. That's probably good for our story. Yeah. What about words that end in the orn sound? Horn. Horn. Yeah. Oh, that would probably be good in our story. We can have it again. Okay. So now thinking about these. Let's think about our story. Where did you want no. the setting to be? Where did you want the story to take place, John? A setting of forest. In a forest. forest. Okay. And what should the characters be? Let's well let's go start our new story and we can look at some of the character options we have. Let's create a story. Um, which which art group do you want to do? All of these guys again? The, um, the farm, up, up, the up. Arctic. Up, up. Up. Um, no, Arctic. Um, you want to do the Arctic stuff? No. Yeah. Well, Ben, we'll do this Arctic one. And Ben, which one do you want to do? Do you want to do one with penguins? No. I'm going to do one with horses. Um, a dolphin. A dolphin. With the, these whales? You want to do that? Because that has a oh, oh Well, John, you want your story to take place in a forest. Do you see any forest there? No. no Do you I see any forest know. here? Um, no. Do you see any forest here? There. And Ben, look, there's a person that you can use. So we'll create with this art. Oh, that one. Hey, what's it? Is he a troll? Um, he monster. Monster. Okay. And Ben, who should the, who should the monster and who else is in the story? Ben, pick one more thing in the story. I'm not picking on that. Okay, okay, I'll pick one more. Um, and the monster follows the witch's order. Order. Or. Okay. Order. So. And the good guys will be um Anne and her, but um we'll just have Anne um. Or a horn, maybe they, thorn. Have, they have to use a magical thorn. Um, yeah, that is really sharp. 
And what do they do with the thorn? Um, they, um, swim into the, um, the, um, fort, and then they try to break it. I think we're ready to tell our story. Yep. We have it planned out. So let's, what did we do Wait, first? What about? That's your setting. Where's your setting? In the forest. And who are our characters? Um, Anne, um, Pam, the witch, and the monster. And what's the problem? Um, they have to get out of a, um, um, a, uh, Oh. they cannot a, see. Yes. And what's the word that means you cannot see something? Invisible. Invisible. Let's go work on our story. So we're going to use a program called Storyscape. Forest. To make our story. Forest. Yep. These are all, this is all the art. The first thing you do in Storyscape, John. S scary one. So the witch and the monster can look. So we'll start with the scary setting. Yep. What in the setting makes it scary? Um. The monster and the witch, and I got a good part of okay. it. Okay. Um. So it starts out scary, but it then it ends out happy. Oh, so there's a change in the setting. Yeah, and they put it spell on the witch and the monster to make them good. And and who Ben? Puff. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, you're right, Ben. Eh. Bam. And and Pam. No, 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 I'm killing the witch. No, we're not going to use the word kill. What? Tell me, Ben, who is it? Pam. Pam. And and Pam have a magic thorn. I don't want Pam. What do they do to the fort? I don't um, they, um, I don't want Pam. Yep, that's Pam. They break it. Oh, yeah. Daddy, um, Let's see that's what the word is not that. Um, fork. They use a fork. Well, we're going to use a thorn. Do they? Lanes. How about do they torch the port for the next one after right after this? So now we're done, and so we can hit publish. What does that mean? That means we're going to share the story. Oh, didn't we want to say there were some important words? What's the name of our story, John? Um. And, um, and Pam, and, and, and Pam, and the witch. Look, Mom. And, and Pam, and the witch. Two different cars. Mom. Yes. Two different cars. Um, Can I tell you um, something? What? Mom. My bad. Let's do an Two important word now. Invisible. Okay. Invisible, you want to put in our important words to know? Yeah. Okay. Because that is Type one we have yeah. Important uh, words. words. Now, the other that. thing you can do, John, with this program is you can go up here and change the text sizes. Important words. So what words do we want to know? Invisible. Yes. Invisible. Is it not a person? So what does that mean? Um, You cannot see that. Now, okay.